Hi everyone, this is a video for YouTube Pagans. Uh, this is week two, in or out of the broom closet. <laughs> I almost don't feel like I need to answer this because, uh, you know, my name is all over this stuff, but I am very, very out of the broom closet. Uh, always have been. Um, I always made it a point when I decided to be a little bit more public when I started my podcast which is now called Down at the Crossroads, but that which can be found, you know, everywhere podcasts can be found. Just look for it, check me out, or search for my name, Chris Orpello, and you should come across it. But when I started the podcast, I was, it was a decision. I will use my real name. If I'm going to be a public person, if I'm going to step forward and represent, to some degree, not every, of course I can't represent everybody, but represent myself and be somewhat of an example because that's what happens. Um, I also made the decision that I will stand by that decision with my real name. So I'm very out. I've always been very out. I don't remember exactly when I, if, or if I even had that conversation with my mother. Um, never really hid anything from my parents, so it was never. A concern. I always had an altar set up in my room, and at one point I had a whole circle laid out on my bedroom floor uh, permanently. You know, it was done in masking tape, and I even had a double cubed altar in the middle of the bedroom, left it there the whole time. Got tired of dragging it out, putting it, you know, dragging it out, putting it away, dragging it out, putting it away. So I just left it out. And you know what? My parents never said anything to me about it. I guess I was just very lucky that way. Um, but I've always been uh, very out, you know. Um, like I was saying, I've used my real name. If you search Google, um, most of those links will all be relevant to me. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Uh, my only concern about that, in that respect, is that other people who have my name, because there's at least one other person who has my name, and he doesn't really care because we've spoken, um, but it's when my name gets searched for in relation to other people and then they find and then like an employer for example but then they find me instead that's a concern that does concern me um but you know at this point it is what it is um i haven't really had any complaints otherwise um my name has been very much a part of you know my practice my online presence my email addresses uh, I have the domain chrisorpello.com, you know, so I'm very much attached to my real name. I'm out at work. Um, I'm not. A, I'm. I'm so out. I've been out for so long that I don't even care anymore, and it's not a big deal. And I don't make it a big deal. Um, everyone at work pretty much knows. No one cares. Uh, for those of you who are more familiar with me, I make uh, statuary and, and bronze tools and things like that that are that I sell online. Um, because of where I work, I can do this. I make these items at my job, and no one cares. I make pentacles, I make skull cauldrons, I make little statues, I make big statues. No one cares. So I am very, very out, um, and I don't really think I've ever had a problem with it. Um, that was kind of my beef. Um, if people had a problem with it, then it's just better off. You know? Uh, but I haven't had much of a problem about it, you know, because I'm a, I'm a stand-up person. Uh, I treat people with respect. Um, I, I come off well, you know, to others, and I just happen to be pagan. You know, I'm Chris Orpello first, who happens to be pagan, who happens to be a witch. That's how I approach life. I don't approach life as an out-of-the-closet witch. I approach life as Chris Orpello. So... That's, that's my answer to that.